Hello everybody. Today I would like to talk to you a little bit about the amazing benefits of adult coloring books. There are seven benefits of coloring for adults and there are a lot of reasons why you should join the adult coloring craze. Every major news outlet from CNN to CBS News is reporting about the adult coloring phenomenon. What once was an activity that kept so many of us entertained as children is now resurfacing as a trend adults are coming to love. Therapeutic elements parents sought to keep their children calm and entertained before dinner are now being applied to adults to help distract them from the daily pressures of life. That said, here are seven top benefits for adult coloring books. Number one, your brain experiences relief by entertaining a meditative state. Two, stress and anxiety levels have the potential to be lowered. Three, negative thoughts are expelled as you take in positivity. Four, focusing on the present helps you achieve mindfulness. Five, unplugging from technology promotes creation over consumption. Coloring can be done by anyone, not just artists or creative types. It's a hobby that can be taken with you wherever you go. What makes adult coloring books so special, you ask? Well, coloring books intended for adults are not the average book you would buy your child. They feature a higher quality of paper, intricate designs, and a wider selection of themes. Whether you're a big fan of Doctor Who, Harry Potter, cities, flowers, animals, or mandalas, we guarantee there is a coloring book out there for you. Art therapists respond to adult coloring being toured as art therapy. As with any major trend, there are critics. While some therapists have come to strongly feel against adult coloring being referred to as a form of therapy, there are others who welcome the growing trend. The main difference that all art therapists seem to agree on is there is a stark contrast between the benefits of coloring for adults and the art therapy profession. The American Art Therapy Association defines art therapy as, quote, a mental health profession in which clients facilitated by the art therapist use art media, the creative process, and the resulting work to explore their feelings, reconcile emotional conflicts, foster self-awareness, manage behavior and addictions, develop social skills, improve reality orientation, reduce anxiety, and increase self-esteem. As you can see, one of the major issues of associating adult coloring with art therapy is that there is no interaction between an art therapist and the patient, who facilitates the patient's growth. Coloring books can be a complement to art therapy, but they aren't necessarily a replacement. So I just want you to be aware that they're kind of a complement to art therapy, but don't discount the benefits of true art therapy with an art therapist. I've done some various art therapy throughout my time as an activity director who is certified, and I've done some art therapy with people who have dementia and Alzheimer's, and I have found that it is very, very therapeutic. Coloring is one of those things that I feel appeals to everyone. It also goes back to that basic root instinct that we have as a child. So if you understand anything about Alzheimer's and dementia, you understand a lot of people tend to kind of regress a little bit or age backward, or they go back to those memories that are ingrained from their early childhood. And so coloring is one of those things that might have brought about a sense of happiness, peace, childhood, and things like that. So I just want to kind of clarify that. Uh, so they are very therapeutic. Also, there are claims by many, that meant by many that coloring is a form of meditation. When you meditate, your brain enters a relaxed state by focusing on the present and blocking out the nonstop thinking we all experience. As a result, you teach you reach a state of calm that relieves your brain from the daily stresses of life. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. All right, there is a wonderful study that came out that talks about the benefits of it um, and the relaxing natures of it, but there's a psychology behind how coloring helps reduce stress and anxiety. Most of us simply know that we love coloring. Taking out our favorite coloring tools and filling in an abstract design 
keeps us focused on the activity at hand. Whether we are by ourselves or with a group of friends, we experience a sense of relief and are given a break from life's issues. But psychologically, what goes on in our bodies to allow us to reach this peaceful state? One Cleveland clinic was interested in this very topic and shared some insightful thoughts from the clinical psychologist Scott B. PS, or PhD. According to the article, coloring relaxes the brain. When thoughts are focused on a simple activity, our brain tends to relax. Dr. B mentions, we are not disturbed by our own thoughts and appraisals. The difficulties of, difficulties of life evaporate from our awareness, and both our bodies and our brains may find this a rewarding. In a separate article, Gordon tells Piedmont Healthcare, coloring can be beneficial for adults because it has a de-stressing effect. The act of coloring requires repetition and attention to detail, so you are able to focus on the activity rather than your own worries. Most importantly, you relax. as you relax, your brain lowers activity in the amygdala, which is responsible for our fight or flight stress response that can lead to inflammation. So when we color, it brings about our inner child. We're reminded of the days when life was simple and our biggest worry was watching our favorite cartoon show. Additionally, concentrating on coloring an image may facilitate the replacement of negative thoughts and images with pleasant ones. It's no secret that mindfulness is the key to achieving reduced stress levels. Instead of worrying about decisions made in the past or things too far ahead in the future, mindfulness keeps us committed to the present. That's very important, especially during these times. You know, worrying about tomorrow, what's going to happen, what's going to happen six months from now, is life going to be this way with social distancing forever or will it ever return to normal? Worrying about those things can keep us stressed and in a fight or flight kind of mode. Being able to do some coloring, just taking out some time. And I'm going to show you, you know, it's simple. You can have just a simple box of crayons and a basic coloring sheet. You can use an adult coloring book. Um, you can print free pages, which I'm going to send a link where you can reach out and print free coloring pages from your printer and fill them out. You can color with colored pencils. You can use crayons. You can use fancy gel pens. There's a lot of different things that you can use to make um, your creations beautiful. And then when you're done, you can have a fun gift that you can share with a friend. So today I would like for you to join me in working out a beautiful adult coloring page um, of your choosing. So feel free to check them out, find one that's right for you, get to work on it and send me a picture. I'd love to see your design. Thanks and have a good day. Bye, everybody.